Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we set up this, the bounty table, and we currently have this bounty in progress. We need to kill 19 husks in the vault, and for that we will then get quick math, 23 Larima gems, and 5 knowledge essence. And of course, the vault XP. So I think we just get to it. I made an armor stand in between episodes to properly hold, you know, my tools and things like that for when I'm not in the vault, like my life run things. I also went ahead and added Unbreaking 3 to my vault leggings. And speaking of vault leggings, I think I want to go ahead and reforge my prefixes and suffixes, because currently it is plus 8 mana and plus 10% knockback resist. Not really happy with the suffix that I have, so we're gonna try and do this. It's gonna take some bronze and some vault plating. And now we have plus 5% item rarity. Ooh. But I'm gonna write it again because now the <laughs> prefix is empty. Plus 8 and blah, 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 plus 8 mana and plus 4% item quantity. What does that mean? Does that mean I can have more than a stack of something? Wearing it? I mean, that would be weird if that... Uh, let's, let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. Do it again and plus 7 mana and... I don't, I don't know what the item quantity means. I really don't know what the item quantity means. I want to get something that I know for sure. Thorns. Plus 1 armor. Plus one armor. These just got up in defense. So before, with my netherite leggings, my defense was at 11%. But with these now, 15 defense. Defense. That's perfect. All right. I think we're ready. Yep. I think I'm ready. Except that I almost forgot my shulker boxes again. But there we go. That is all good. All right. Yep. We're ready. All right. Add the magnet to the belt. Activate the portal and let's go through and hopefully we'll be able to complete this bounty. Well, if we get a vault room that actually has um, husks in it. <laughs> Time will tell. Ooh. Oh dear. Two time. Oh dear me. 220% chance of a chest trap. <laughs> one gilded, one frail as well. Ooh, that's... um. Those are not good odds, but... It does seem like we do have a desert, so bounty is going to be the main thing here. And we need a spider soul charm from, from gilded chests. We also have ground hide from... Okay, but it's, it's not that many for the scavenger, actually. This could be... This could be manageable. Oh, we have living chests down there. We have living chests. Okay, we do have husks. And also, uh, an update for Vault Hunters did get released, and we now get soul shards. Which is awesome. I am hoping to do something with that later today. Get rid of the spawner if possible. Really don't want this to kill me, so... I'm gonna break it from a distance. <laughs> yep, that's fine. That, that's better. That's doable. Uh-oh. That's a lot. That's a lot. But we do want the husks. The husks are amazing. Okay, the spawner, I believe, is gone. That one isn't. Uh... I'm scared of opening these. <laughs> okay, let's open these. Uh, oh, wow, I'm already full. Okay, ooh, ground hide. Perfect. That is exactly what we needed. Give me all this. Okay, good. Ooh, about to complete. Sweet. That is very nice. So far, I've only had one chest that was trapped. Which isn't too bad. Okay, I should be able to get up here. Break this, potentially. Yep. Gilded chest. Ooh, nice. Nothing of the stuff that we need, though, unfortunately. My inventory is so full. All right, let's move on to the next room. I don't want to miss out on stuff. Still need an empty jar and spider soul charm. Oh, and this is perfect. I can add this here. No spider soul charm. Ooh, living chest. And... Filled inventory. Ooh, two spots with living chests. Knowledge, here I come. Yep, knowledge. Beautiful. That's poison. That's poison. That's poison. Why? Kill the chest. 
No spider soul charm though. Ooh, on HS sided. Two cha two arches. And two babies. Possibly the worst combination. Oh wow. Worst combination ever. And I'm so glad a creeper didn't spawn from that, otherwise that could have been game over. Sack. No sack, come on. Ah. Uh, no empty jar, unfortunately. Ooh. Okay, so this is new in the new update. So instead, I believe instead of vanilla ores, rocks, vault rocks now spawn, which is pretty cool. So you can now get this vault stone and also, of course, still the vault ores. Look at that, I got a chipped vault rock out of that. Okay, it's a really good vault, this one. There's a lot of those as well. Ooh, perfect. That is perfect. No. Spider Soul Charm. I might have to accept the fact that I'm not gonna complete this. <gasps> empty jar. We got empty jar. Okay, I can put these in here. There you go. Ooh. Wait a minute. Special room. Special room. Um, seven minutes left. I really do need to loot this and all of these. Honestly, if I got a spider soul charm, I wouldn't care much for the rest of the vault. Oh, sneaky gilded chest. Still not what I need though. I am slowly heading back. I do have four minutes and 50 seconds remaining. I think I know where my home is. Just, I guess, have to hope that I find some gilded chests on the way and that they contain what I need. I don't want to rush it though. I always head home a little bit too soon. Don't want to do that. Okay, so that's my portal. Don't think we're gonna get this one, unfortunately. Okay, so if I head right here, I should be back at my home room-ish. Yep, I'm gonna check out this room. I have two and a half minutes left. I should be able to make it. 30 seconds should be plenty to reach from here to home. All right, gild the chest, gild the chest. That's all I need. A single one that has exactly what I need. Living chests. Oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope, that's a horde, that's a horde, that's a horde. Uh, it does have gilded chests though. Wait a minute. I did not mark where I came from. I did not mark where I came from. I think it was here. It was. It was. It was. was. Ah, 30 seconds to go back and then 30 seconds. Oh wait, now I can time it. 10. Okay, 10 seconds to go from room to room. Nope, I can't risk it. I can't risk it for this. Can't risk it. I saw gilded chest there though. I should have gone this way. <laughs> but that's good to know though. At normal running speed, 10 seconds to run in the corridor between rooms. So now I should be at the portal at 35 seconds. Yep, perfectly calculated. Unfortunately, didn't do the main objective, but we still got a lot of loot. Let's go home. All right, 3,474 Vault XP. We killed 115 mobs. When it comes to chests, five of them were trapped. Honestly, considering we had two trapped uh, like modifiers, that actually, I've got to say, wasn't too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. Now all I need to do is go through, that kind of scared me, go through this loot. And we actually have some pretty good stuff. Some of this stuff I don't even know what I need to use for. All right, everything has been sorted, and this is why my inventory got full so quick. Yeah, I picked up all of the different scavenger items, but I picked them up because they have soul value, which I believe you can use to make uh, more soul shards. But before we take a look at that, we now have a stack and four knowledge essence. That is not too shabby. We also have 10 mystery boxes and two? Only two? I thought I had more. Apparently I didn't. Two relic booster packs. Nothing out of that. Mystery boxes. I should probably take out my magnet now. Ooh, Benya type. Ooh. 
Wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> That's multiple. That's but two. Two black opal, five bar ignite, three atrium, two benyotite, and two echo gems. That feels almost broken. <laughs> we have quite the collection of gems now. Wow. I will not complain. We also, believe it or not, just need four more knowledge essence, and then we should have enough to unlock our next mod as well. Now, I need to take a quick look at this. The pickup upgrade. Upgrade. I should be able to make another pouch, which will make our life a whole lot easier. Now, this is primarily thanks to getting a bunch of raw magnetite, and I need to remember how I use this again. So, usage six should do. All right. So with this, I can go ahead and make one and two magnets. Perfect. And then. Need to go ahead and make the upgrade base, which is a magic silk block, four chromatic iron ingots, and I think we have it all. Yep. Upgrade base, and then just need a block of redstone, two chromatic steel ingots. Now I'm out of those, but the way you make them is you take chromatic iron, and I believe anyway, I'm pretty sure. Yep, chromatic iron ingot, and then two refined carbon, and the way you get those is if you go ahead and combine them like so you get refined carbon so i can actually go ahead and get quite a bit of inventory space i'll just go ahead and convert all of that to this and boom chromatic seal ingots or ingot because that was one operation <laughs> now it's ingots <laughs> now the big question do we have yes we do have slime okay i am not going through the nightmare of getting that slime again there we go, pi pick up upgrade, comma, complete, which means where did I put my remaining pouch? Wait, where did I put it? Ah, that is, of course. So in here, we add this, and then we can basically Ooh, match backpack contents. Allow. Okay, so block. This is important because if you set this to allow, it will only allow the things in here. So we need to set this to block and then the backpack settings. We can then go ahead and make a new memory slot. So I can take in the vaults when I'm picking stuff up from breaking the chest and whatnot. What goes into my inventory, I can now add it to my other pouch as we go. I think that's going to be the easiest way of doing that. Perfect. Now it is time for the bounty because we completed this. It was pretty easy, actually. Let's go ahead and claim it. We should level up from this as well, I think. Oh, so close. And we get the bounty crate, of course. We know what we're going to get. We got a bunch of... Oh, we got... We got a bunch of knowledge essence and... A layer. Wait, we have enough now. I think we have enough knowledge essence. We do. We do indeed. We could. Can we unlock another mod? What's this? I don't. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But if we make a knowledge core, extraordinary benyotite. Oof. Ah. If I break this, we might have enough. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. I th mm. We have just enough Benyotype to get a extraordinary Benyotype surrounded with diamonds, knowledge core, and boom, knowledge star. Let's go. Also, I'm feeling I'm feeling like I could use a snack. <clears throat> um, I'm I feel like I could use two snacks actually, all things considered. That's better. However, I have no idea. What I want to use the knowledge point on, I think I might want to save it to get simple storage network. I think that would be cool, or I get drawers. Because drawers are really good as well, but simple storage network would be super cool to get. 
Of course, there's also something like waystones or elevators. I don't think I need elevators at this point in time. Vault compass. This is the ideal tool for anyone getting lost inside the vault. While in your inventory, the compass will always point to the start portal at the, of any vault. I think... Is that new? Is that new in the update? That might... I don't think so, though. I don't remember Iskel saying anything about it. Huh. Easy villagers. That would be nice, considering the noise of upstairs. Power. We got power as well. Draws a simple storage mod might be, might be what I want to go for. I'm also not going to use any of my skill levels just yet. I'm going to think about the knowledge point. Um, and I'm also going to wait with my skill point because I would love to get something like haste or speed, but that costs two. Um, reach would be cool as well, but that's for level 10, so that's not relevant right now. But yeah, haste or speed is going to be my goal. With that said, we might be able to make the black market because we have one soul shard and we have four driftwood. I just need three chromatic iron blocks. I just need to smelt a ton of this stuff. Or maybe not as much as I thought because I had a ton of nuggets. And just like that, we have the black market, which I'm gonna place, hmm, right there. No, not there, not there. Uh, oh no, it's in my pouch, it's in my pouch. Right there, yes, perfect. I think I just heard a footstep. It's probably just the enderman. Anyway, if we go now in here, we can go ahead and see the stuff here, and we have a timer for when the shop resets. So that is cool. We, of course, do not have enough uh, shards to get any of this stuff, even though getting vault diamonds would be really cool. But yes, this is very nice to have. Now, I think I don't. I think this like this slot here just comes back eventually, I would assume. However, there is one that I would like to reset, and that is a mining. Mine seven black opal ore in the vault. I don't, yeah, no, no, I want something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it in there. Mining, re-roll, it's only going to cost nine. Item submission, submit 69 chromatic iron ingot into the bounty table. In return, I get two skill lessons, three benyotite, one mystery box, ten vault alloy, vault diamond, black opal, and diamonds. Ooh. Hmm. This would be interesting. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. Um. Hmm. Holding it. I mean, vault alloy seems to be kind of expensive. I'm going to try and reroll it again. See what we get. Ooh. Okay, this just became... Yes. Submit 106 chromatic iron ingots into the bounty table. That I can do. I will get a bunch of vault silver, letter my gems, and unidentified vault boots. Yes, please. Um, I mean, I'm well on my way. Oh, that's not how you do it. <laughs> that's not how you do it. I mean, I will get plenty of more of chromatic iron. I just need to spell another stack, really. I just need a bit of patience. While we are waiting for the chromatic iron to spelt, if you are enjoying the video, if you could do me a favor and leave a like on the video, and if you are new, hit that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. All right, this should be the final chromatic iron ingot that I need to submit. Yep. Claim reward, thank you very much. Ooh, boy. We just... That was so... <laughs> This pouch is making things so anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, we got a soul flame, which is cool, which we can use to make the vault soul diffuser eventually. Uh, 15 vault silver. Uh, I this I, I do apologize for this pouch. It's, um, it, yeah. Anyway, uh, we got another right ingot, 20 more Larimar gems, which is just perfect. And, of course, we got Unidentified Vault Boots, level 8, Scrappy Plus. Let's roll it, see what we get. And... Rusty Scavenger Boots, let's see. 5 armor, 457 durability, plus 2 health and item rarity. That's actually good, right off the bat. Wow. Okay, so, my defense is at 15%, and my heart is at 20 
With this, defense is at 18% and heart is at 22. I mean, that's that's a huge upgrade right there. They just need some unbreaking. Um, what do I have? I kind of know the price. Unbreaking. Yep, 30, 31 emeralds. That's that's expensive. This is where the armor stand is really nice. I need to go chop trees. I just do this. Take that on. Boom. Ready to go. All right. Mission accomplished. I just need a book. And unbreaking three. And even some emeralds to spare. Armor upgraded. And I think it would be kind of sad not to run another vault specifically because we just got this. We just got the new pouch which I need to set up. And also, I can just click this button and have another Vault Crystal, and I sh believe it should be at level 8. Because it applies the level when you press the button, I've been told, and yes, it does indeed. I almost ran without checking if I had my shulker boxes, but I do. Yep, we should be good. One more Vault. Let's go, and I'll have the pouch ready to set up stuff as we go in the vaults. Let's do this. Ooh, lucky. And monoliths. Okay. This is so far so good. Oh, wow. And we have a monolith in the first room. That is better than I could have hoped for. Honestly, that is perfect. All right. Moment of truth. So, is this going to pick up everything or is it going to let the other one pick up stuff as well? Oh, everything just goes into this one. Uh, that's a problem. Maybe if I hold the other one? No. This is actually much faster than breaking it, I think, as well. Okay, so that's a problem right there. This has picked up Vault Apple, even though it is not supposed to. I would prefer not to do this in this... in the Vault wasting time. But I'll just do it on the floor. It's fine. Oh, wait a minute. I see something on the other side of this. It was! A little bit of a hidden chamber, I suppose. Oh, but no, I was hoping for gilded chests. <laughs> okay, this could easily, there's a spawner up there, I didn't see that. This could become a problem. I'm not gonna risk it for that, just gonna get the important stuff and get out. Just gonna run through this real quick. Any vault doors? Ooh, we do! Okay, so mining this is definitely worth it. Really worth it. All right, beautiful. I just realized I should have activated another bounty, so the vault essence could be counted towards the bounty in this vault. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Okay, let's see what we get from this one. Ooh, Laramar, perfect. Ooh. Oh wow. A lot of stuff here. A lot of good stuff. Okay, definitely taking the time to mine these. It was definitely worth it. However, I am afraid. Because I hear skeletons. Oh, and that's a really nice addition I just noticed as well. You no longer see the knowledge, the unspent knowledge points text and whatnot while in the vaults. That, I really do like that. Alright, beautiful. Ooh, nice. Very nice. My finger is the getting tired holding down control and pressing Q constantly, though. <laughs> Ooh, another one of these. Oh, this is a big one. Oh. Wait, how, m how many we got here? How many spawners? I suppose this is a big one. I mean, okay. We we'll must say no. Let's see if we get anything good. Oh. It wasn't that big. I have yet needed to use shulker boxes, which I am really happy about. Uh, what's this? Ooh, wait a minute. Is this... I think this is the old... Well, it's not the old... Yep, it's the crystal room. It's a crystal room. Ores can spawn here. Oh! It is, however, not. 
100% safe. Ooh, we have a spawner up there. Okay. Wait, where's the spawner? Where did the spawner go? Oh, well. Okay, for this, I may need to empty some stuff here. Just so I can grab everything. Maybe it finally got used up. Maybe it was a fistle spawner. It must have been. Yeah, it's a fistle spawner. It's a fistle spawner. It just spawns a ton. There we go. Yep. Ooh, ton of Laramar. Ton of Laramar. That is a beautiful sight. Oh, that's poison. That's, that was a slime. I do appreciate, though, that it is fizzle spawners. That makes this manageable. Okay, six minutes remaining. I must not lose track of time. All right, last one. Then I might actually have to head back. Yes, got it. Good. Mission, I would say, accomplished in this room. This room has been super, super amazing. Now, if I take a right here, then a left, after looting this, this should be blocked off eventually, and then that will be my home portal. You got anything down here? Ooh, it's not like I haven't had enough ores for one day. But <laughs> I will not say no. Good thing it didn't, because that's Benyard's height. And more Laramar. Ow, that was late. And this should be blocked off. Yes, okay, so that's my portal. know exactly where I am. I just want to have a quick look at my surroundings. Always marking the area back though. Just to see if we got maybe monolith or something close by. As long as I have a minute when I start heading back, I think I should be good. Oh, I mean, if I could find another one in the next room, that would be, that would make this vault perfect. Make sure I check every corner. Any monolith in here? Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm gonna start heading back just in case. Oh, I hope I'm not doing hitting back too late. I shouldn't be. Uh oh, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm starting to get real nervous, actually. Uh, 50, 50. No. Okay, that's my portal. Just one out, one right, and then one right again. Ooh, it's gonna be close, actually. It's gonna be really close. Okay, over there. Immediately. Okay, 10 seconds through this, 10 seconds through the other one. It should be. It should be doable. Yep, that's the first monolith right there that we activated. Risky play, but worth it. Yep, we should be able to make it. Okay. Mission accomplished. Let's go home. <laughs> 13 seconds left. I cut that so close. All right, we killed 149 mobs. Wow. We didn't loot that many chests, actually. But, all things considered... Oh, dear me. <laughs> I mean, we got a bunch of ores, so that right there is not too bad. I can't complain about that one bit. Wow. Now, I might have to do some... I mean, I only used one shulker box in that whole thing. So that is pretty decent. However, I think I will need to look through this pouch because we, got to, we do have things like vault diamonds, which should have gotten in here. And driftwood should also have gotten in here, so... Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but I just need to do a little bit of manual tweaking. So I think what I'm going to do, I just emptied this thing right here. I think what I'm going to do is take everything that this had and then put this pouch away. And then while having the magnet on, go ahead and drop all of this. And then the things that's supposed to go in here will go in there. I can take the pouch back and now I can pick up all of this stuff right here. Perfect. And now I guess I could go ahead and make some of the items that I know goes into this thing right there. So I guess actually maybe I can do something like this. Pick up some of these things. 
like so. And that's basically everything. And this thing is now full. And so all of this stuff can be added to the other pouch. Or some some of it anyway. So what do I want? I guess things like this, this, that. Algebra blend is something that I'm starting to get. Cooked vault steak is also something I'm starting to get. Chromatic iron ore, soul flame. I, w I would like one just for gems, but that is of course going to be a little bit expensive. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. We do have vault essence, I think that's it. So I should be able to just go in here, save settings to, I don't want to load to slot one. Select all slots. Scroll to change slot. Okay, to, so to save this to slot two. And I should be good to empty this now. So this is the old pouch right there. Go ahead and do that. The old pouch is now empty. I can remove this and it's saved just like that. Beautiful. However, there are actually some things I didn't get, like the unobtainium, sun metal brick, and algae brick which I can go ahead and add just like that. Maybe I'll add volting it. And load settings from, mm, okay, select everything. I can't save it to slot two. I'll save it to slot three, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Perfect. Our second pouch is now set up and ready to go. Now, I don't know when these are going to reset. I assume they're going to reset. I'm not gonna activate this just yet, just in case one of them does reset, uh, or if these do come back in between episodes, that might be more uh, interesting for us to take. This will reset in 22 hours, so that's gonna be exciting as well. And guys, with that, I'm going to call this an episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.